Macau. We are in Macau. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. So today we're gonna go to Macau. We're gonna go to Macau from Zhangzhou to Zhuhai and then Macau. I'm super excited because we're gonna stay in the Venetian and we're gonna go with my mom's classmates' family. So this is our hotel room. They have a whole vanity inside a toilet that already has a big bathtub, shower, and a whole room for you to poop in. After settling down in our hotel, we immediately explored the place. To clarify, the Venetian is connected to three other hotels, the Parisian, Four Seasons, and the Londoner. So it was really easy to navigate through all of their stores, and that night we only had time to roam around the Londoner. So we eventually stumbled upon a Pop Mart store. Here you can see in real time the start of my Pop Mart obsession. Hey guys, hey guys. Mm, my eyes are so red. I just woke up, so today we're gonna go out again. This is day two in Macau. I don't know what's the plan for today. I think we might do a little shopping in the mall first and then we will go out. There are a lot of mirrors here. At night, we explored the streets of Rua de Cunha near the Venetian. Aside from the endless amount of street food, the area had a series of colorful buildings set on narrow cobblestone streets decorated with European style street lamps. It was like a hybrid of Asia and Europe. Okay, looks like a green nipple. <laughs> it looks like a green nipple. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so we are back at the Venetian because it's too hot outside. Hello. <laughs> came back from Lord Stowe's. We got a box of egg tarts. Look, egg tarts are still so hot. We also got an assorted box of pastries. Let's see. After eating the egg tarts, we decided to explore the Parisian. By the way, the egg tarts were delicious since they were hot. However, I feel like you could easily get something like that on the streets of Hong Kong. Anyways, the Parisian was really pretty too. We even bumped into someone dressed as a French mime, which I think is a signature thing in the hotel. So of course, we had to take a photo with him. So we are back in the hotel and I'm gonna open the Pop Mart box. Like this is my first time buying this. I usually buy La Boo Boo. It's called Pinot Jelly or Pino Jelly. I'm not sure. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> I got what I wanted! I got what I wanted! What the hell? This is my first time ever that I got something that I want. I gotta cut the camera. So cute. I actually wanted this when I first saw it, the box. the remnants of Portugal here. It's really pretty. Oh, there's also a blue one. Look. On the way to the ruins of St. Paul's, we stumbled upon this restaurant tucked away from the main path. We had been starving at that point, so we really didn't care about how good the food would be. Fortunately, it exceeded our expectations. Their signature milk tea was pretty good, and I've had my fair share of milk teas. They serve curry mixed with ingredients of your choice, and this was perfect for us since we didn't want to be too full. To be honest, before we even hopped on the train to Macau, I had my eyes set on this ice cream place. Lemoncello had the most peculiar ice cream since they served two flavors on one square-shaped cone. I absolutely did not like their signature lemon flavor, but I really, really loved their strawberry cheese one. Their blueberry cheese flavor is just as good too. I'm gonna open my Pop Mart 
box. This is a special edition of La Boo Boo. It's a Christmas version. <gasps> it's so cute. Really, it's like one of the thing, one of the ones that I wanted. Well, this set, to be fair, it's pretty good. I don't mind getting any of them. Look, they put my jelly cat here. By the way, his name is Hajimi. On our last day in Macau, we went to the humongous new Yao Han store, which was filled with toys and many other things. So, you can guess, I got more Pop More toys. I got this Bobo and Coco Pop Mart toy under the Vintage Zaka series. It had such a special box that reminded me of a milk carton. And this other one caught my eye since it was pink. Both toys were mediocre but still cute all together. Hi guys, so I just came back from Macau. I want to give you guys a little shopping haul. So I didn't buy a lot of things in Macau because it's very similar to Hong Kong. The first thing that I bought in the Venetian was this cute little guy. It's a jelly cat. Obviously the quality is super nice. It has this really innocent vibe i love it so much i even convinced my mom's friend's daughter to buy one for herself the next thing on the list is i don't know how to call this it's called the jumbo slot lucky charm keychain so you can like pull down the lever and then you can you know try to get all the matching numbers and everything it's not useful but it's cute i like it i also got this one we stayed at the Venetian, which is like super close to the Ra Do Chun Ha. I don't know how to pronounce it. So in Chinese, it's called Guan Ye Jie. It's like this street in Macau that's like full of food and food and food. So yeah, it's all about food. Every time I go to a new place, I have to get a postcard. It's this new thing of mine. Actually, I have no idea what it is. I know it's in Macau, so that's all that matters. And then I got this postcard set. Inside, there's like postcards and also bookmarks, literally. It's so cute. We went to the Londoner's gift shop to get these keychains that we saw online. This is the best keychain I got here. Look, it's like so, the quality is so good. It's like a really good quality keychain that you don't want to use. I'll just keep it in this package forever. It cost $75, so it's kind of expensive, but in my opinion, it's kind of worth it. To be honest, I don't even know if we have this in Hong Kong. And I actually already tasted it in the train going back to Zhangzhou, and it tastes really good. And then we also got this dried Chinese mango, and it's like black. And I'm really excited to try it, but I think it's like a very special thing. I have never seen this before in Hong Kong or in the Philippines. Yeah, I know very well that I can just get this in Hong Kong, but it's just so cute. I had no other thing to buy. It's really cute. Like when you hold it, you just feel like your life is put together. I also got this bag. Super useful, but also useless. 
because you can't really put anything inside but it's like super convenient for like the smallest things for example whenever we went through the immigration i would just put my id card inside and that's it and So this one is different from the other Pockmart collectibles because I know what's inside. It's like super expensive, it was like $250. But, but it's like really heavy so you can feel like the quality is different. I just feel like it's made more meticulously. Okay, so that's it for the Macau vlog and also the shopping haul. Hajimi says bye. Bye bye.